There's one thing that most business owners don't understand when it comes to ranking on Google or Google My Business, now known as the Google Business Profile. And that number one thing is keywords. What are keywords? How do you find keywords? And then how do you use these keywords to get to the top of the search rankings? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So first things first, let's talk about what exactly are keywords. So let's jump over to Google real quick and I'm gonna show you. So I've been studying Sacramento and some of the service businesses over there and I wanna show you what I'm finding. So if I was somebody in Sacramento, California and I was looking for a plumber, I would type in something like plumber Sacramento or Sacramento CA. And then you get these search results right now. Now this word right here, Plumber Sacramento CA or Plumber Sacramento, that's what's known as a keyword, okay? That's what you want to rank for to get the most business possible. Now there are lots of keywords that you can go for, but in this video, I wanna focus on your primary keyword, the one that's gonna make you the most money by ranking at the top of the search engines or at the top of the map pack for your specific keyword. So how do we find these keywords? How do we determine what are the best keywords for your specific business? The best thing to do is just start doing some preliminary searches on Google, such as Plumber Sacramento, California. Let's jump back over to the screen here. Now what you'll see here and when you scroll down is the, the top three people that are ranking. This is where you wanna be. This is where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck, the highest rankings, and the most traffic to your website and to your business. Now in previous videos, we talked about categories and you can view the categories selected for your account or other people's accounts right here. Plumber, plumber, plumber. The category is typically one of the best keywords you can possibly use. And we're talking about the primary category, not the additional categories. If you wanna see more about categories, go over to my video that is dedicated to just categories or you can download my cheat sheet and get a full rundown of exactly what you do. I'll give you more information on how to download this for free in just a minute. So once you've seen what the categories are, are the highest ranking competitors in your area, you also wanna go to what's called the Google Keyword Planner Tool. This is a free tool, but you do need to sign up for a free Google Ads account. So if you have a Google Ads account, you're good to go. If you don't, go ahead and go to ads.google.com and sign up for a free account, and then we're gonna jump into mine. I'm gonna show you exactly where to find this tool. Okay, so here we are in my Google Ads account. And what I'm gonna do is click on Tools and Settings at the top, this little wrench icon. And then I'm gonna go over to Keyword Planner. Now, once inside this keyword planner, all you need to worry about is this little section called discover new keywords. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, here's where I'm just gonna start typing in some keywords to see what Google has to say. So let's stick with the same keyword we've been working with, Plumber Sacramento. Get results. Now, you're gonna see that there's over 3,600 people. On average, these numbers are not exact, but on average, Google is saying there's 3,600 people typing in Plumber Sacramento or some very close variation of that. You'll also notice that below this, Google gives you a lot of keyword ideas. This can be very helpful if you're having some trouble figuring out what the exact primary keyword is that you wanna use. This can help you out. You can also look at the volume for each one of these ideas to determine what is gonna be the most powerful, most search keyword for your business. For example, let's look at Cheap Plumber Sacramento. There's only 320 people typing that in, but Plumber Sacramento, there's 3,600. I wanna get ranked for what most people are searching for, especially if we know that they're looking to spend money with you when they search something on Google. That's what you're looking for. You want the most bang for your buck, the highest profit keywords possible possible for your business. Another example might be Plumbing Company Sacramento, Plumber Sacramento CA. Now notice, if you put the CA behind there, you're getting 260, where if you don't put the CA in there, then you're getting 3,600. That's a clue. We wanna really focus on Plumber Sacramento without the CA. Now if we do add the CA, or if we use variations of this, that's okay. Let's go ahead and look and see how the top ranking companies are using this on their website. So back here at the Google search results, we're gonna see Armstrong Plumbing, Mr. Rooter, we're gonna see Ace, okay? Let's look at the websites and see what they have in their title tags and some of the headings on their websites. So Armstrong Plumbing, you can look and see what the title tag is, which is something you need to pay attention to when you're setting up the website or when you're hiring somebody to design the website for you. This little tag up here, when you hover over the top, of the little tab, it'll show you exactly what the title tag is and what Google's gonna look at first when they decide what to rank you for. He's got Plumber Sacramento CA. 
Okay, that's the first thing you see when you look at the title tag. Now let's go down here and you can see his heading includes Sacramento, includes plumbing, and you can see some of the words within the paragraphs, plumbing, Sacramento. Now you do not wanna be spammy with this. You wanna write this for people to read, but you also wanna write it so that when Google looks at it, they know exactly what your primary service is, what your primary category is, what your primary keyword is that you want to rank for. Let's look at another one. Okay, we're looking at Mr. Rooter. Okay, once again, title tag up here, Plumber Sacramento. We're looking over here at Sacramento Plumbing, a variation of the keyword. Sacramento Plumbing once again, Sacramento Plumbing Service, Plumbing of Sacramento. So one of the top ranking websites you can see here is really utilizing the keywords on their website. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with any more of these. You can do your own research, but if you go through all the top ranking businesses, you're gonna find very similar things on their websites. They're gonna have keywords strategically placed on the website and in what's called the title tag. If you look at the businesses that are ranking low and you look at their title tags and some of the words on their website, you're gonna find things that say something generic like homepage or just their business name. Throughout the content, you're gonna see very few instances, especially in the headings, of their keywords. They're ranking very low. Google wants you to set up your website so that it syncs with what you wanna actually rank for on this little map section. Okay, so give Google what they want. It's very simple once you get the hang of it. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, please hit subscribe below. I'd love to share future videos with you as they come out. I'm trying to come out with them either once a week or every two weeks, and I come out with nothing but valuable information when it comes to marketing for your local business. So hit the subscribe below, hit the like, and if you have a question, put it in the comments below, and I will answer them, I promise. Here's a secret for you. Shh. Okay, so let's look back at Plumber Sacramento, that keyword that we searched for on Google. That you can see that two out of the three people in the three pack here, or in the Google Maps section, have Plumbing Sacramento, or a variation of Plumbing Sacramento in their business name. So this isn't just Ruder Hero Plumbing, it's Ruder Hero Plumbing and Air of Sacramento. Notice how they added of Sacramento on there. You can also see Mr. Rooter did the same thing. Mr. It's not just called Mr. Rooter or Mr. Rooter Plumbing, it's called Mr. Rooter Plumbing of Sacramento. Google is giving special preferences to people when they put the actual keyword plus the city they wanna rank in as the business name. But be very careful. Do not just go into your Google account and throw of your business name on the end there. First, what you wanna do is change it on Facebook. You wanna change it on Yelp. And then most importantly, change it legally with the Secretary of State. So if you're in California, you're gonna to go to the California Secretary of State and you're gonna legally change. You may need to get some documents to submit to them. It may be kind of a pain to do this, but make sure you do that before you submit to Google. A lot of times people actually get suspended. We've had clients do this and get suspended or they just disappear from rankings because Google thinks they're trying to play some games. But if you officially change it legally with Google, with your secretary of state, you should be okay. If you do get suspended, you can always appeal to Google, which I have a process for that in another video. And then you can tell Google, hey, look, I got all the legal documentation to show this is my legit business name. Now, here's another secret. If you are a new business and you have not firmly established your business name yet, and you're still trying to come up with ideas, I highly recommend you somehow incorporate the keyword and city name into your official business name up front. That way Google cannot contest it. For example, I have a friend here in Missoula, Montana, where I live, and he is wanting to open up an electrical business here in our city. His business name is the 360 Electrician. So what I'm telling him he needs to do is add of Missoula at the end of that, before he even opens up, before he even gets his office, or even gets the logo for his website. Make of Missoula an official part of his business name. Get that keyword in there so you can rank faster and you can rank higher without playing games, without violating Google's guidelines, without getting suspended. Now that's it in a nutshell, but there are so many other things you can do to get your business ranked high on Google. And I've got a whole cheat sheet that I created just for you that you can download for free. All you need to do is go to bigwestacademy.com slash GMB cheat sheet. In this cheat sheet, you're gonna find all the stuff that we do for our clients and everything that you can do for you with easy to understand information plus little links to videos if you want to go deep on each one of those for a full explanation. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.